Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I modified my lettuce grow farm stand. The issue I'm having is when you need to drain this system, it's uh, hard to do, especially if your uh, lettuce grow is uh, six, or six or seven uh, levels high. You see how tall it is? What they want you to do is take the top cap off up here. Then uh, after you take that off, you have to attach this uh, hose barb fitting. Then uh, you connect the hose to it. I'll show you that. Then you connect your hose to it. So I'll get to my issue here in a second. So after you connect this, screw this on, then you run your hose wherever you want to. Then you can drain it. You just turn your pump on and it pumps it up out of the system. But the problem is when you have a unit that is uh, six or seven uh, levels uh, tall, uh, you don't have much water pressure by the time you get to the top. So it's really, really hard to drain. And right now I'm still using the stock pump, which uh, makes it work very, very hard. So I pretty much burnt that pump up last night. And uh, right now none of my plants are getting watered. So I'm going to show you how I modified this system to drain the system. I'm also going to replace the pump with a slightly larger pump and uh, this will make it really easy for uh, draining the system. Uh, let us grow a farm stand company. They want you to basically have to stand on something so you can uh, get to the top of the unit. After you get to the top of the unit, you got to take this cap off. Then install this pretty difficult to do if you have nothing to stand on or uh, you're a little uh, height challenged or you're just older and you're not comfortable standing on something trying to get to it if you have a unit that's really short two three four uh, levels tall this is uh, not as useful but I'm going to show you how I modified this now it cost me a uh, four dollars and three cents to do this modification so I'm gonna go do that now so the first thing I'm gonna do here is unplug all this so I don't have to deal with the pump just unplug the pump here then we're gonna go over here I'm gonna show you how I drain the system now uh, basically I have a valve in here I put in so I just open the valve to make sure the pump's turned off when you do this. Then uh, I add my uh, pipe into the end of that. I have a real short pipe I normally use. It's about two inches long, but this is massively too big right now. But you get an idea how this works. Then you take the piece that comes with the lettuce grow, the unit here that you use on the top of the unit, how they want you to drain it. And you just slide that on there. And now I'll plug the pump back in. After I slide that on there, I turn the pump back on. And now we're going to test it out so I can show you how this works. So I'll just put the pump on all the time. So now it's uh has really good pressure to drain the system. So it doesn't take forever to drain it. Then, if you need a stop or something, if you're trying to fill up a bucket or whatever to drain your system, shut the valve. Now the water's just going back to the top. Now I'm going to show you how to replace the pump when you have this in here. And also uh, give you some measurements on uh, how long all the fittings are. You can see there the little valve there I'm using this is a half inch uh, ball valve then uh, pop that apart I end up taking the seal off here so I could get my hand in there a little easier pop that apart let's pull the old pump out see what we got here now so here's the pump I just pulled out 
Uh, basically, we have the pipe here that I uh, cut down. I'll give you a measurement on that for how long it is. The T-fitting, a small little tiny little uh, piece of half inch. So these fit together here. So that's how it looks when it's inside. You can just open and close the valve to drain the system. Then uh, all you do is uh, attach your uh, pipe to the end of that. And you can uh, have the whole garden hose as long as you want to go drain it into a sink, tub, outside, a uh, five-gallon bucket or whatever. But uh, let's replace this uh, pump here quick. And uh, put this all back together and get a couple measurements for you. You might have to go get something to break loose the pipe on there. This one was pretty tight. So the new pump has actually... Looks smaller, but it's uh, supposed to have more uh, pressure to shoot all the way to the top. So well, well, you can see uh, it's working now. We got plenty of water pressure, but this pump sounds like it's ready to die. This is a used pump I'm using here. So uh, let's see how much uh, pressure we have at the top of the unit here. And here's the problem. I got to stand on something just to see what's going on up here. Decent. Looks like this pump uh, is a little bit uh, taller than the last one. So I'm going to have to cut about two inches off this pipe here. That'll be no big problem. And we'll uh, put it all back together and call it a day. If you got any questions on this uh, modification, let me know. You can see uh, these plants haven't been watered all night. They're not doing well. And these are the plants I brought out here that had uh, spider mites in my basement. So uh, it's not doing too bad out here. Sorry for the annoying pump. Sounds pretty horrible.